If you're anything like me, the concept of finance can get confusing and overwhelming. That is why I asked Brian Bubalis to come on the show today. He's a professor in the Department of Finance, Banking, and Insurance, and has agreed to help explain some financial topics that all college students should know. Brian, thank you so much for coming on the show. Well, thank you, Juliet. Thank you for having me. So tell me about your involvement first with the Department of Finance. Well, I'm a instructor there. I'm the coordinator for the internships for the finance department. I'm also the, the, the director okay. for the financial literacy initiative on campus here. What is that? Basically, we try to get in front of the students and let them know what they need to be doing now to prepare themselves not only for when they get out of college, but also for their life after college and prepare for, believe it or not, we talk a lot about retirement before you even have a job. Right, which is exactly why I wanted you on the show because mm -hmm. I know two months ago I probably knew nothing about finance, but I started getting very nervous because deadline for graduation was approaching and mm -hmm. I knew I needed to get serious about it. Sure. So first off, can we cover the subject of loans? Give us some basics that we should know. Well, the, the one thing is students a lot of times don't understand the difference between subsidized and unsubsidized loans. Okay. When they come to campus and they're, they're given the financial information, they're excited, they're looking around, their parents are worried, and basically it's here, sign this form, and mm -hmm. off they go and they get these loans. Uh, when you get a subsidized loan, that means the government pretty much is paying your interest on that loan for you while you're in school, so you don't okay. have to worry about that. If you get an unsubsidized loan, they are not paying that interest, and if you yourself are not paying that interest, it's just accumulating and putting you deeper into debt if you don't take care of that. So when you're in school with an unsubsidized loan, your interest is just packing on more money to what you'll owe in the future? Yes, yes, that's okay. true. Good to know. I definitely took a couple of those out that was not needed <laughs> through the years. Um, all right, so what about when we're in college mm -hmm. and let's say we have some of this money in our bank account from loans, maybe our parents help us out or we work. Sure. What's the best way to manage it? Best thing to do is budget. And nobody likes to hear budget. All they, yes. When they think budget, <laughs> they think constraint. I'm not going to be able to spend. But actually budgeting just tells you where you're putting your money. And it, if you budget properly, you can make time for savings and then you can actually spend more. Okay, so if I were to budget, mm -hmm. is there a certain way I should use like a Excel spreadsheet or a piece of paper? What do you recommend? There's a lot of different ways and everybody's different. So I'm kind of old school. I still have my checkbook and have an Excel spreadsheet. Okay. Um, but there's apps now you can get Mint which you can put on your cell phone. It's by Intuit, which does QuickBooks. Okay. That'll tie into your bank account and also your credit card or debit card, either one. And it'll track how much you're spending each month. And you can set your spending limits on, on Mint and it'll send you a text. Hey, Juliet, you spent more money eating out this month. You might want to- A common thing. You know, <laughs> slow it down or next month you need to, you know, cut back on that mm -hmm. so you can stay within your budget and make corrections. Okay, so I know one tip that I've learned over the years is just something like Mint, but I use actually a whiteboard. It's probably not the most efficient <laughs> way, but I'll literally just go online, look at my bank statements and write, okay, I, I went to Kobo like five times too many this sure. month and just adjust it from there. Mm -hmm. And that's a concept I think you've talked about before about living within your means. Yes, that's very important. Finance is not uh, complicated. It's very basic. And the best thing about it is basic finance hasn't changed for thousands of years. Spend less than you make and invest early and invest often and you'll reach your financial goals. Right. And tell me a little bit about retirement. Well, retirement, the, the, there's a couple of key things in retirement. The sooner you start investing, the greater chance you have for interest accumulating. Interest is compounding, so that means interest not only on the principal amount that you invest, hmm. but the interest on the interest, and it grows exponentially. Sure. So the earlier you start, the better off you are. Time is your friend in Time case, is your friend, sure. yes. And you recommend starting right outside of college, in college? Well, right now everybody's hopefully in college, so now's the time to start. If you really? were in high school, I would recommend starting as soon as you get a, a job and you get cash flow coming in, mm -hmm. that's the time to start investing. Wow, okay, sure. that's some great advice. Would it be something, an IRA, is that correct? Yes, IRAs, an individual retirement agreement would be one type, and all that is is, is kind of the blanket on your type of investment. Mm -hmm. And that can be, and I'm gonna get a little complicated, um, mutual funds, bonds, stocks, 
electronic trade funds, things right. like that. And these are all subjects that we could probably expand for many, many hours, it seems oh, yes. like. Well, yes. thank you so much for coming on the show and explaining these topics. No problem. Thank you for having me. And when it comes to finances, one thing I've learned is discipline and dedication determines your financial situation. I hope today's discussion has helped you gain a better understanding about your finances and what it takes to be on the right financial track.